Hey guys, Ted. I want to show you my pickups for the day. Um, these are a little bit of everything. I did a box break. I've got some cards for TTM. I have two TTMs, and I have one PSA that I bought, purchased that I really like. So anyways, let me start with the box break. This was a box break that Ray, Ray Watanabe did. I highly recommend these to you. Uh, he, he, they're very inexpensive, and you might get some hits out of it. Um, he does them every once in a while. He'll just keep an eye out on his channel. It's really, really a good thing. Uh, this I had. This is absolute football from 2016. Um, I had the Patriots and the Raiders. Funny thing is, there wasn't a Patriot in the box. Uh, but I got some nice Raider cards. I have an Amari Cooper, and then I got Derek Carr, and. I don't know where the other one went. Um, and then I got this Ricky Force patch of Connor Cook. So that was pretty cool. Um, I also had a Cleo Mac. I don't know where it went. Uh, oh, well. Anyways. Um, and then uh, my TTMs for the day. First one, uh, he wrote me a nice note, too. Um, this guy was a... Uh, running back for a while for the Cleveland Browns, um, and pretty good one. He played for Ohio State in college, Mr. Bo Scott, on a 1974 tops. And then also, uh, this guy was, uh, he didn't play, he, he didn't have a lot of at-bats, um, but uh, he, he played for the, uh, the Angels, for a few years, here and there, he was a catcher, Mr. Tom Donahue. I think that took about five days, tops. Tops, even if it's a Donruss. Ha! So, anyways, uh, also picked up uh, Jay McGillicuddy like this, a Dante Hightower autograph. That was sweet. And then for the PC, my favorite PC. Well, I like the 2205, T205s, but this is this is my guy. Uh, this one will be going off the PSA along with a whole bunch of other ones that I have. This is this year's uh, Bowman, Mr. Griffey Jr. And then I also got, I don't know, this is a Topps. Um, it says, congratulations, you received a 1987 Topps baseball card from the 2000 Topps Baseball Hobby Con Continuity Program. No idea what that is. Somebody can tell me that would be great. It is Mookie Betts, though. Pretty cool looking card. So, very happy with that, even though I don't know what the hell it is. So, anyways, let me show you what I got for TTMs. Uh, 62 Post, Jimmy Orr. Um, 68 or 9, I forget what year, Ken Cordes, a 72 Lance Renzel, a 69 Baseball Dan Combs, this one's not for TTM, just had to buy it because it was a nice shape, yes, yes I know, I always say it, he's a dink. But he was a great player. Uh, to go with my rookies. My rookie little rookie collection thingy. We'll see how many of these guys I can get. This is a 1970s rookie Herman Hill and Paul Ratcliffe. Ratliff. And also from 69, we've got Bobby Darwin, John Miller, and Tommy Dean. We'll see if I can get any of those. Uh, a lot of you know I like my 64 football. So we've got Dick Harris. We've got George Blair. And then another card I picked up just because of the condition. Um, this is a 72, 73 Raleigh Fingers. I think it was the first year for the mustache. And then football back to football, we have a 72 Rockney Freitas. We have this 59. This is a uh, Canadian Football League. Mike Hagler. 
uh, 60, I forget, Philadelphia, Bob DeMarco. Again, 69, I believe, 69 or 70, Floyd Little. A 72, Steve Owens. I have another Steve Owens with on a League Leaders card, so that, those two will be going out. And then one of my favorite baseball sets, a 64, George Banks. And then along the lines of the 64, this is a PSA uh, I found on a, uh, a site. I think I paid 6 bucks for this uh, with shipping, so it probably cost me 8 or $9. Uh, Lou Pinella, 1964 rookie. Or you could say a Mike Brumley rookie card, and that might make it worth more money. Doubtful, but, you know, either way. But nice Pinella. Love it. Had to have it for 6 bucks. I went for it. So anyways, that's my uh, my pickups for today. Hope everybody has a good weekend, as I said before. And uh, we'll talk to you.